Test J, section two, question 19. A historian says the land party achieved its only national victory in Banestria in 1935. Uh, never heard of that before. Is that fake? I don't know. It received most of its support that year in rural and semi-rural areas. So the land party is doing well in the country, it sounds like, where the bulk of Benestria's population lived at the time. So most people in Benestria were living in the sticks and the land party is the only time they ever won was in 1935, a time when most people were living in the sticks. And they won because the folks in the countryside made them win. The economic woes of the years surrounding that election hit agricultural and small business interests the hardest, and the land party specifically targeted those groups in 1935. I conclude, okay, so the last sentence here is going to be the conclusion. Everything above that is going to, we have to take it as fact, okay? This is the only time the land party ever won in this country. The demographics were what they say they were, which is majority rural and semi-rural. We know that the land party targeted uh, the uh, agricultural and small business interests who had been hit hard by the economy during that time. And we know that this, again, is their only win in this country. But this conclusion, we have to suspect that it's bullshit. So what is what are they trying to conclude? They say, uh, well, the success of the land party that year was due to, in other words, caused by the combination of the land parties specifically addressing the concerns of these groups and the depth of the economic problems people in the, these groups were facing. And I say, you know, that's a really nice idea, but you're trying to conclude correlation. Or sorry, you're trying to conclude causation and you don't really have much more than a coincidence. You know, their only victory was in a time where uh, XYZ happened. That doesn't mean that XYZ caused the land party to win. You know, it's like saying that, you know, well, Trump only won in 2020. Therefore, anything that was happening in 2020 is what caused Trump to win. Do you see how dumb that logic is? You know, they did provide you some information that a certain thing was happening at that time. And there might be reason to believe that there could be causation there where it's like, oh, I see you were targeting these people. Those people were really hurting. So then you're saying that the fact that they were hurting and the fact that you were targeting them, that's why they won. <clears throat> but what if you just had a really charismatic candidate that year? You know, what if you want, what if all the other years you had terrible candidates and in this one year you had a good candidate or what if the opposition that year sucked <clears throat> or what if you spent a ton of money on advertising or what if there was a weird glitch on the ballot where you're the, you know, the land party was the only one that was even listed on the ballot. There's all kinds of ways that this historian's conclusion doesn't have to follow from their facts. And if you see that, then you've already won. Now, it turns out to be a strength and accept question. It says each of the following if true strengthens the historian's argument, except so four of these are going to help their case. One of them is not a in preceding elections. The land party made no attempt to address the interests of economically distressed. Urban. Groups. That's the answer. That's the answer. They're trying to say that the reason why they won in 1935 was because they addressed the rural and semi-rural voters. You're saying rural and semi-rural voters. That's why you won in 1935. A says in previous elections, you had never attempted to address urban groups. If A said rural groups, then it would be a strengthener. A, saying you made no previous attempt to talk about economically distressed urban groups. I don't know if the urban groups have ever been suffering. I have no idea what ur urban groups don't have anything to do with it. So I was ready to say A is a strengthener. But when it said urban instead of rural, it's exactly wrong. And that's why that's going to be the answer. Now, I just have to make sure that I can see how B, C, D, and E are going to help this argument. B says voters are more likely to vote for a political party that focuses on their problems. If that's true, then it makes it look like, you know, it doesn't win the argument. 
but it certainly supports this historian's line of reasoning. If B is true, then sure, maybe it's more likely that the land party won in 1935 because of focusing on these particular voters with their particular problems. C, the land party had most of its successes when there was economic distress in the agricultural sector. Yeah, that says, you know, they didn't, the only time they won was in 1935. But if you look at 1931, they actually got pretty close. And the reason why they got pretty close is because there was economic distress in the agricultural sector, which they later would specifically target in 1935 when they won. Yeah, I can see how C supports this line of reasoning. D, no other major party in Benestria specifically addressed the issues of people who lived in semi-rural areas in 1935. So we know that they did. If nobody else did, and these people were really struggling, yeah, it's not perfect, but it helps them build their case. E, the greater the degree of economic distress someone is in, the more likely that person is to vote. Oh, perfect strengthener saying economic distress increases voter turnout. Well, then, yeah, be, maybe the economic distress of these people in 1935 was a contributing factor to why the land party won. B, C, D, and E all help the argument somewhat. Many of them help the argument by defending it against a particular attack. Like D, for example, imagine if all other competitors in 1935 had specifically addressed the issues of the people who lived in semi-rural and rural areas. I know that D doesn't say and rural areas, but imagine if that were true, that other parties were doing this exact same strategy then that would weaken the idea that the land party won that year because of that strategy. If everyone else was also doing that strategy, then why did they win because of that strategy? So if you imagine what would happen if D is false, you might see how it helps the argument a little bit more clearly. Answer is A, because urban groups have nothing to do with it. That can't possibly uh, help this argument. 